What is up everyone? I just wanted you to know before we start the video that I've been working on handmade wands for anybody who pledges on Patreon at $10 or above. This is actually a handmade wand that I've been working on uh, for a little while now. It's not just like I'm going to sneeze on a stick and then send it to you and be like, here's a $10 wand. I'm legit like making really nice wands and I'm going to send them out and then I'm going to open my Etsy store back up. So if that's something you're interested in, that's great. If not, that's great. Let's get on to the video. So Hogwarts Legacy just released another 20 minute trailer, except it's not like any other trailer I've ever heard before or seen before because it is literally 20 minutes of rain sounds and ASMR, which again is something I've never experienced. However, there are some really cool locations that they tease throughout the course of this trailer. Some things that we were wondering about that have been confirmed and exactly how we're gonna be able to go about that, plus a few secrets that I've found along the way as well. As you can see by the opening shot here, we have the front of Hogwarts Castle. It is absolutely beautiful, and the sounds are just so freaking soothing. I could hang out here <laughs> all night and just listen to this, and I probably will use this as a, a working background noise uh, thing just for during the day. Uh, but again, as you can see, off into the right up the distance in the hill, there is the Owlry. And that is one of the locations that we'll be able to experience in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, there are seven locations or seven screenshots, if you will, or seven pieces of, of movement that we get to experience as well. So I'm going to be trying to go through each one of these and just see and point out any of the Easter eggs that I can find um, as we're watching this together. Now, on the second shot, you obviously, you know, you can you can see some staircases here and in the distance it looks like this could potentially be a statue of merlin or maybe a puzzle of merlin you get you know a big bushy beard you get some longer hair and i can't quite make out the symbol to see if that's a triskelion or not but it looks to be merlin's symbol at first glance without uh, zooming it in way too much then off to the left here we can see what looks to be an alchemy chilling in a bowl right on top of a fountain next we have another shot of the outside of hogwarts looking in where some wildflowers are i can't really spot anything eerie or particular with this other than just the grandeur of the scene itself of course we have off to the left side of the image the herbology classrooms that are supposed to be just outside the castle walls and um Honestly, I'm excited to figure out, you know, what herbology looks like for us with this new teacher and how we're going to be experiencing those things. And if any of these particular plants have perhaps branched off from some seeds that may be scattered out of students' pockets after herbology class. But again, another beautiful location and just just pointing to the fact that they've spent so much time manufacturing every single window pane that has gone into hogwarts and how freaking beautiful this is the next sequence is when things start to get a little bit interesting because you see on the little sensor here the sensor is what is you know blazing in the fire that there's a number four roman numeral four and a spell symbol right beside it now if i'm not mistaken this spell symbol that is on this large gold plate is actually protego it looks sort of like a shield uh, with a wand down the middle and but you can see these golden sensors all the way down this bridge and of course these are very different than the ones that are on the stands the ones that you see are the one that you see on fire is actually gold like solid gold and then down the bridge you look you see some other ones that are simply stone like there's nothing special about them and then on the farther end you can see two more golden sensors or golden um, you know burning pans and with metal plates in front of them so my assumption there is that this is a puzzle that will unlock access to something uh, obviously it's going to unlock something or do something maybe it's just simply that it's an achievement who really knows uh, but of course lighting the fires with perhaps incendio or something along those lines will uh, you know light the fires or we'll have to just cast a spell and the fires will light themselves but I love this little look at a puzzle that you know we are gonna be able to solve and of course you know again the gold plates down at the far end of the bridge will probably be other spells and that's just something that I'm really looking forward to experiencing and seeing how they've developed puzzles how we're gonna have to solve them and what that even looks like in Hogwarts Legacy 
Now in this next sequence, it also continues to be interesting because we see here the sign that is literally pointing down the street to Zonko's and back towards the hog's head. We have the three broomsticks in front of us, quality Quidditch supplies to the right of us on the screen, and on the left, you can see the edge of Ollivander's workshop or Ollivander's wand shop. And I am really bummed because I think this means no Diagon Alley. I had a whole video, it's in the card above. If you want to check it out, that's fine. I had a whole video that's like, you know, missing out on Diagon Alley would be something that sort of cheapens the experience. It's something that I did desire and I did really want, but it looks like we are probably not going to get it. That's just a guess. That's not a confirmation. I have no hard fact or you know knowledge of this specifically, but it just seems like if we were going to be in Diagon Alley, we would have seen something about it by now, unless they're just holding that back for launch to completely blow our minds away. So again, down the alley, after Ollivander's just passed it on the left side, you can see Zonko's Joke Shop, and outside are some fireworks that we will again see in just a moment. Now, like I mentioned before, on the right side of the screen, this is actually where Zonko's joke shop will be there to the right again with fireworks. And then right in front of us, the giant dangling teapot will be Madame Puttyfoot's tea shop where, you know, Harry and Cho's uh, amazing first date happened. And so I'm excited to see how that will play into the story. Maybe that's something for side quests. Maybe it's just something that we can go do, you know, in spare time. And then, of course, it looks like there's a, uh, a florist across the street. I don't have the name of this florist. I'm assuming it's a florist by all of the flowers that are outside and on the bridge right next to the building. Uh, but that is all that I really noticed in this particular sequence. And also there's an owl post office. In the next to last sequence, we see some blades of grass right in our face that are kind of blurring things up. But once that clears out of the way, you can see off to the left, the Hogs Head Inn, where we will be not experiencing Aberforth, Dumbledore, <laughs> but we'll, there will be another proprietor of the Hogshead Inn, and we will be able to see them, I'm sure, at some point, and some shops that I'm not really sure about. There doesn't seem to be any, uh, you know, noticeable signage or branding outside of those. Nothing really, you know, too detailed about this particular part of the street, except for off to the left side, you can see some wooden stumps, which I believe to be the same wooden stumps that we run by in the trailer where there are some wizards relaxing and it looks like we could like chop up some firewood with an ax or something like that. Uh, but apart from that, there's not much else in this sequence. And then of course the final sequence where we see the magic meep. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, I actually had to Google it, so I'm not gonna pretend like I just knew this off the top of my head, but a meep is a Scottish term for a turnip. So this very well could be, you know, an apothecary somewhere we can get ingredients for for potions or maybe something that we can um, go spend some time at. It could be an inn, uh, you know, or an eatery. I'm not sure. I don't think they had food trucks rolling around back in the day like that. But obviously the magic neep is going to have something to do with food of some sort. Uh, it could just be a food stall. Who really knows? But off, you know, in the distance, there looks to be like some really old, misty, foresty type stuff. There could be some bad guys back there, maybe some Inferi uh, right here. And then at the top of the hill, a very spooky, abandoned looking house. So um, that's really all that I gathered from this trailer slash ASMR experience. I really enjoyed it, though. It's really cool to see the engine. It's awesome to see the rain. In the game and how they're you know using the atmosphere they're using the in-game engine to create a more immersive world that is just going to be more than a flat you know everything is sunny and everything is going to be perfectly overcast <laughs> and so i'm excited to see how you know they use this in the game to actually affect gameplay if it'll be harder to sneak and run around you know in the snow or in the rain or how that's going to affect us at all uh and and just to experience this game more I just think that what they've done here is, is really tremendous and really beautiful. It's a huge undertaking, and I know that there have been a lot of delay rumors, but honestly, if we get a really great you know product up front and it's polished and well done, then that's all that I care about. I don't mind delays. 
I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, seeing it take more time for it to be, you know, as good as it can be for us. So that's all that I have today. Again, guys, Patreon link down below if that's something you're interested in. Please find us on Discord. Follow me on social media for more news and updates every time I drop a video. And you guys will be the first in the know. Thank you so much and have a great day. Love you.